Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money, me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I swear take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Alright, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at John Elway. John Elway is a name that I've heard, but I haven't looked at yet. He's a quarterback, that's all I know. So uh, stick around, I'm going to react to him in just a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Oh. Okay, guys, the top 100 NFL's greatest players, number 23, John Elway. Let's do this. People often talk about him sort of as your nemesis. That's accurate. <laughs> I like John. Man, he's got white teeth. Hey, well, look at these. That's accurate. <laughs> Whoa! I want some white teeth like that, man. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I like John. <laughs> My wife doesn't like John. Not in mean spirited way. She just didn't like the things that he was able to do against our football teams. Oh God, I don't want to talk about John Elway. She says <laughs> I give him all the credit in the world because he pulled off some magic in those years. Bronco. comebacks with 47. Whoa! 47 fourth quarter comebacks. Holy shit. This one came against teams coached by Marty Schottenheimer. <laughs> so that guy was the ex-head coach from, from uh, a team that lost to John Elway in the fourth quarter nine times. <laughs> oh man. No wonder he hated him. Oh, no, Fuck that I would say he was solely my arch rival, but clearly he was a guy who, going head to head with him, we came up on the short end of it more often than not. Time after time after time, he doesn't, and he's just getting the cheeks again. Elway's most memorable late That's game awesome. rally against Schottenheimer came in the 1986 AFC Championship game. And the Broncos are 98 yards away from where they need to go. Elway threaded the needle for 22 yards. He drives him down the field and wins. The drive was an unbelievable. The drive! He just kept making plays. It was the beginning of the mystique of Elway and his ability to come from behind. 42 seconds to go. The look, the throw. Touchdown! The Mark Jackson, 98 and a half yard drive. You just shake your head. Wow. Hey, what are you going to do? They are never in a position in which they didn't feel like they had a chance to win the game. But why? Elway. Who's playing quarterback for him? And the Denver Broncos with another fantastic comeback. When Elway retired, his 148 victories were the most. <laughs> oh my god, where is he going? Oh no. He could take a bad play and turn it into a good one. He had the athletic mobility to get out of trouble. He looks about 6 1. That's when he was really dangerous. You let him get out of that pocket, and all of a sudden somebody comes open somewhere, and he's able to make the throw to win the game. Steps up in the pocket, looking long. Here goes the pass. Rod Smith up. He got it. Looks like it comes out the side of his hand. He had the great arm strength. Not that one. But for all his success, Elway was dogged by failure. Three humbling Super Bowl losses created the perception that the comeback kid was a big game bust. Man, don't you hate that? Don't you hate that? I'm, I'm getting more 
inclined to the fact that, yeah, quarterbacks are all good. Yeah, 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 you can talk about them all day. But if they don't have one of those rings on their fingers, at least one, and if they've been to the Super Bowl and lost like three or four times, and they still don't have one, it's like... Uh. <laughs> Just sucks, isn't it? And persisted until, at the age of 37, he led the Broncos to victory in Super Bowl 32. Okay, just completely forget about what I said because he's got one. Thank God for that. Oh, shit! This one's for John. The following season, Elway repeated the feat. What? And was named MVP of Super Bowl 32. Oh my God, he's got two! In that situation where everything's against you and awesome. no one's expecting you to do it and you get it done, that's exactly what you play for. That is the point in time in everybody's career that I think they would like to be able to free because it's a thing which is unbelievable. The best quarterbacks ultimately find a way to win and that's what separates the truly great quarterbacks from the ones that are very, very good. In the era in which I coached, he was clearly the number one guy in that regard. Yeah, he will. He's got like 40, he's got like 50 fourth quarter comebacks. That's insane. And he got two Super Bowls. Well done. Well done, John Elway. Well done. All right, guys. Well, that was my look at John Elway. Um... What an absolute legend. He finally got two Super Bowls. I'm really happy about that. It feel, I feel like he was a, a one man, oh, sorry, a one team man. Let's just check that. Broncos for what, 15, 16 seasons? Yeah, I was absolutely right. <laughs> the Denver Broncos for, from 83 to 98. He went pick number one in the 1983 NFL draft. Pick number one. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2004 in his first year of eligibility. Wow. Awesome. What a legend. Anyways, guys, we're into number 22 in the next video. Stick around for that. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.